Oh, don't mind me. I'm just, uh, I'm just combing my hair. It's the seventh day, and God Raku doesn't rest ever, so thus the five star continues on. We only have two matches to recap, but you know exactly where we are going first, and yes, God Raku is the god of all Joshi, don't you remember? Yeah. It's the Megasus, now killing children in a whale tie, while tossing balloon goblins into creatures and murdering tall Hanukkah with a double choke bomb, and then decimating her completely with a Mag-5. Oh, the Mag, the Mag, Jason Statham, and the Megasus. Megasus versus Tam Nakano very, very soon, but most important, God's Eye in full form with this little God's Eye a fearless beauty, as well as Konami! Oh my god, it's Konami! What a treat to get to talk about this killer! Konami, and how they failed the Silent Hill franchise! They're facing against stars! Oh, look at stars! Oh, look at them! And Konami has already been in a stable with Kashima. She knows how she is, and is already wary. And rightfully so, as Kashima lost the match. Oh no, Kashima! Mei is making her slow just by existing! Oh, you little goblin, how dare you! And Konami is upset that God's Eye is weaker in her eyes now. Sure, he believes Kashima will explode in God's Eye, but Konami knows this little demon. She knows she'd rather just vibe and eat and play rhythm games. But then, Mirai, the ever-kind one, stands up for Kashima and confronts Konami, but she gets in her face and Mirai pissed now. Oh no, she pissed. Look how pissed she is. She's so mad. That's anger. And Mirai realizes, you know, this is God's eye. The best way to settle this is fight each other. Mirai versus Konami for the wonder of stardom. That's gonna be good. And what a sweet gesture it is to see God's eye accept Kashima despite her lazy millennial nature, despite her shortcomings and unathletic skills. They accept Kashima as a comrade and a friend. Now, isn't that wholesome as hell? Mirai, friend of Kashima, let's go! First match is, oh, Suzu attack Natsuko in the back and is dragging her out. This crazy girl is so unpredictable, oh, she's so crazy! She has to be. Suzu cannot afford any more losses and must do whatever she can against a dangerous foe like Natsuko Tora. But Tora is also a big bad boss with a nice health bar and takes it to Suzu. Oh, not right on the edge of the chair. In the ring, she spits clear mist. Oh, the clear mist just blinds briefly and not the ref too. Oh, the ref gets it too. Natsuko takes immediate advantage. Suzu got caught in the boss's major mechanic, the man. Suzu returns fire, but it all breaks down to straight fighting, which Suzu can win because she's so crazy, right? So crazy and dies to a big old slam. Tora in control, running through all her big power moves, big splashes, and ends Suzu with her Death Valley driver. But Suzu kicks out. She has to. She can't lose anymore. Tora to the corner for the Swanton, but no one in the pool. Tequila roll up almost gets her into three successful kicks in a row into a gigantic tequila shot for the oh the child distracts not Mina and Suzu beats up the child Mina is like the child in Robocop 2 you know what happens to him oh it's not good Tora tries to end Suzu with her lead pipe but Suzu takes it and smacks the fuck out of Tora god Damn! Followed by a German suplex train one after the other for the one two three Big victory for Suzu as she beat the leader of a widow tie and kind of just has their number in general. It was a chaotic start into scrambling by Tora to power her way through and Suzu toughening it out and fighting a child to score a victory. Final match is Nuts Boy facing the person she bit and caused to have black hair for a month. Fairy infection is a serious illness and required Mayu to enter a long quest to find a wizard. She's only barely healed. That's why she hasn't been defending her title. All you critics lack all the context, yet you want to judge anyways on your little Twitter boy for 300 followers and yet want to hate on her anyways without knowing she was suffering from a magical illness from a fairy and needed a wizard. Get off your fucking pedestal. Such a lack of empathy. <laughs> 
Anyways, here's my Iwatani tossing the ball into the crowd and oh, come on, guy. You missed. It's not that hard. You paid those front row seats only to fail in front of Mayu. I would never show my face again. Yeah, I just say fuck all that and hide my face behind a meerkat Google image avatar. And this was another good performance from Mayu. Of course it was, but mostly Poi too, who was just on fire lately. Mayu wants a handshake, but all Poi wants is a bye, Poi. And they go right at it. No wasted movements. The ultimate test, but with only 15 minutes. Neither don't want to draw. Poi, a quick Poi, as usual. Right after the neck of Mayu and putting her in a position to potentially bite her. Oh, Poi. She being a mean Poi. Not the mean Poi. Now Mayu being a bully Poi. Just chilling on Poi's neck like, ha. Oh. Nice crowd. Oh, stop it, Poi. I'm trying to relax and kill you, too. But Poi, back with a drop, Poi, and then kills Mayu Poi, like she did with Julie Poi, right on the apron, Poi. Oh, Mayu. And then the fairy flies. Oh, poor Mayu. Poi, just punishing the neck of the icon, twist Poi like. And up top for her gift to the world of wrestling, but Mayu just barely moves and just explodes on her. And now they be comboing each other, and Poi catches Mayu like, and a big release, Brock Poi. But zombie Mayu up and germans her back down and delivers her super kick. Middle of the match leads straight to the portion Mayu seemingly loves, the fighting portion. Hit Mayu, and she demands to be hit harder, and now they're poying, they're poying. The fairy going berserk mode, and just after the head of Mayu, oh my god, this is a kick-ass fairy girl. Fairy strain, but Mayu was prepared the moment she was lifted. Fairy magic countered, and now Mayu up in a super kick. Look at this wonderful performer here, breathing heavily and completely feeling the moment in the ring. I always believe Mayu. And there she goes for the second rope moonsault on the knees. So back up for a frog splash. Mayu signaling the end, her heavy breaths of the battle driving her intensity further to kill Poi and lock her in her mad ass dragon sleeper. But this was how Poi bit you last year, Mayu, and just Germans the hell out of her. Mayu in the final stages, knowing what she must do, a big moonsault to end her, but Poi fights Poi, and oh no, a big kick, but Poi ducks and rolls through and lands a Ron Hey, but Mayu kicks out, catches Poi, and drops Poi with a tomb Poi, but not without a Mayu murder face. This woman and her expressions for none. Decapitates Poi and up for her super dragon. No! Fairy magic going. Poi, 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 Poi. And oh my god! Poi oh, caught Mayu. Oh my god. Nuts Poi has beaten Mayu Iwatani in the five star Grand Prix. Poi is so shocked. What an upset by Nuts Poi. That's very, very huge. Mayu cannot believe it. She refuses to believe it. And like, yo, yo, that was two, yo. And Poi like, bye, Poi. I just wish Tam Nakano was there to witness this so I can see her face when she realizes that her second in command has beaten the one person she has never been able to beat. But Poi, don't hate Mayu Poi like Tam Poi does. She respects Mayu oh so much and is thrilled to be on the same level as her. And then just does what I do all the time and love bombs the crap out of Mayu. And Mayu like, <laughs> okay, okay, thanks, thanks, stop it, stop it. But Poi like, you also like super weird. And Mayu like, <sighs> cosmic angels and their backhanded compliments. <sighs> Big win from Poi, who is thus far undefeated in the five Poi, and will likely go on a Hazuki arc. So prepare to cry, my Poi friends. It's not gonna end well for Nuts Poi. Just enjoy the fact that an undefeated Poi is a happy Poi, and a happy Poi is a cute Poi, and a cute Poi will go bye Poi. And then the crowd gets it wrong. Go oh, and Poi angry. She angry. Once again, bye, Poi. What is bye, Poi? And no, don't 
Don't you dare leave. No, 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 no. Why don't you answer? What is Bi Poi? What is Bi Poi? It's gonna go down as one of the great mysteries of life. What the fuck is a Bi Poi? God damn it, Poi. In 5,000 years, a futuristic AI robot, Indiana Jones, will be exploring the remains of the world and discover lost text addressing. Bye, boy! And even the AI robot Indiana Jones with her weird AI wife of Steven Spielberg going, Indy! Even AI Harrison Ford would be like, What the fuck is a bye, boy? And then explode! And just explode! I'm a thief by trade, I'm a daughter of thieves. A special thank you to all my Patreon sponsors! We're gonna do this in black and white because we're gonna be artsy like Oppenheimer and it's gonna be so, so artsy. Look how artsy this is already in black and white. We have Jeff, Jeff, Channel, Kika, Noah's dad, Anthony, Ali Nales, Kopi Kassan, Tiege, Renee Valdez, Asa Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew, Pidat, Tuesday, Oh, did I screw your name up? Perhaps I did that on purpose. It's an A24 film. Are you asking maybe why I did it? Because of art. Neo Jeffu, John Doe, Terrence Stanwork, Edward Kaczynski, Gav Bullen, MK, Ray Kanashige, Party Marty 520, Punk Wicks Videos, Mini Shepard Covers, Boobas, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up Ingo, Dot Wave, Ash, McGee, Boggle, James 198X, Aaron, Zacharias, Far, Far, 5222. See, add too many numbers to your far. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because it's a, it's a metaphor for how the American system is constantly adding numbers to the debt ceiling. Oh, 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 Margin Kai, I want victims, JLA and Julia, sunglasses. This pair this time. Thank you. So